multi-air really gives us uh, complete control of the intake valves and uh, controlling the intake airflow is really the holy grail of internal combustion engine operation. You want to be able to have very, very precise control. And what we've done is with the multi-air technology, it essentially take a dual overhead cam engine, throw away the intake camshaft and replace it with what we call the multi-air brick. The multi-air brick is a combination of four sets of multi-air actuators. They operate by using a very high pressure uh, hydraulic system, uh, oil, that is uh, actuated by a single lobe on the camshaft. So we've got a single exhaust cam, two lobes for two exhaust valves, one intake lobe. We've got a roller finger follower, follows that, runs the pump. The pump creates a high pressure, uh, over 100 bar pressure in this high pressure chamber. Then we have a very high response electronic solenoid that simply opens and closes a passageway to feed the oil to the two intake valves. And it uses a hydraulic collapsible hydraulic lash adjuster uh, that when it's pumped up, you follow whatever part of the cam lobe you're on. And when uh, we bleed it off, it closes rapidly. So there's, there's actually five different modes of control that we can uh, utilize. So under the high performance conditions, we are following the intake cam profile completely. It's called full lift mode. Uh, when we're in part load conditions and you want to optimize uh, fuel consumption and reduce emissions, uh, you can you utilize a, a process called uh, early intake valve closing. So you start to follow the cam lobe and you close it. Or if you're in a very low speed operation or idle, you can uh, have simply a late intake valve opening. So you wait and you control the timing of the open and the lift of the open. And finally, uh, you can do a what's called a multi-lift. Open, close, open again in the same cycle, all uh, in the, the goal of controlling uh, the airflow. The fifth mode is actually like during decels, we can do uh, complete intake off. So it's a complete off mode. All right, so some other things that we've done uh, in order to uh, get the performance that's required for this ABART, uh, we added the, the Honeywell turbocharger. Uh, it spins up to 220,000 RPM. Uh, and in order to then um, maximize the, the available airflow, we have the twin intercooler system. And you can see in the, in the graphic uh, on the screen here, uh, the intake airflow comes in, pumps out of the turbo, gets split to the twin intercoolers. Packaging space is really tight on this vehicle. So in order to maximize the amount of performance, we had to have the, the twin intercoolers. Uh, we've got a forged steel crankshaft. We've got uh, forged convives.